But what a sensational second round it was with a five under par, 66 by Jason Day to move to six under and just two behind the leaders, Hideki Matsuyama and Kevin Kisner. Jason joins us now here on Fox Sports. Jason, you must be absolutely wrapped with that. I am. Um, it was a tough old day out there today, especially with the delays. We came uh, running down the 18th hole just to get the, uh, the round in and uh, being able to uh, get a good night's sleep, uh, you know, trying to Obviously, you didn't want to come back and wake up at 5.30 in the morning and, you know, stop. You play one hole and then you're waiting around for another four or five hours. So being able to do that um, was good. I mean, DJ pulled up clutch with that uh, tee shot on 18 to be able to get us uh, going. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow's round. And it all began on 7, 8, 9 and 10. You went eagle, birdie, birdie, birdie. That must have felt pretty good. It was good. And then they blew the horn. So that kind of stopped all the momentum. But uh, being able to get, a, you know, I came out and bogeyed the, the 11th hole straight after they blew the horn after the delay and then uh, being able to birdie 13 and 14 was a you know a good uh, kick in the right uh, direction so um, all positive stuff for me today and hopefully I can keep that going on the weekend. Just talk us through that monster putt on 13 because that was an absolutely epic moment wasn't it? Yeah you know I, I gave myself a good opportunity on uh, on 12 and unfortunately didn't capitalize and then uh, hit a kind of an average uh, tee shot on, on, on 13 and th one of those putts where you're kind of thinking okay I'll like you know I'll get it started on my line and hopefully if the speed's right that'd be great because you know the line that I'm picking hopefully matches up to that speed and uh, it looked really good Cole said when he was like kind of walking down he had a perfect line going in and he knew it was in so I was I was pleased with it and you finished really really strongly at the end it looks like you guys were playing speed golf almost out there yeah. Yeah, me and Henrik were running down the 18th hole. I mean, Dustin teed off at, at least five, seven minutes earlier because we had to finish on 17, and we wanted to make sure we get at least our second shots in because there was a big screen on the 18th hole um, that, you know, lit up the 18th green. So being able to get on the green there really close instead of having a long putt, you know. It, it, once again, it was one of those things where we played kind of a little bit slow over the first 16 holes, and then 17, 18 came really, really quick. Um, you know, and to be able to finish, you know, par par uh, was nice. Just a final one. You know what it feels like to hold up that want to make a trophy. Just how good does it feel to be back into contention again? Yeah, it feels good. And the thing is, is there's still two more days, so I got to make sure that I focus on uh, doing the right things out there. And you know, I'm, it's going to be tough. It, it really is. I mean, we're trying to win a major championship was tough the first time, and trying to win a major championship is always tough the second time too. So uh, the players are great up there. Um, I just got to try and focus on uh, playing my game and hopefully it works out for me. Well, best of luck for the weekend. And once again, thanks very much for joining us here on Fox Sports. No worries, man. Cheers. Jason Day there, just two shots off the lead of the PGA Championship.